Hey, I'm Chris from Buddy Pole, and we're down here in Costa Rica. I'm going to show you a couple setup tips and uh, some tuning tricks here for the Buddy Stick Pro. And I've just set up on the edge of this uh, hillside. We've got a volcano in our background. And what I've done is set the legs up. One of the things that, uh, that people ask about is adjusting for different terrain. And one thing that you'll notice with these legs is that you can kind of bend them to kind of um, get it to be more vertical. Um, so you're, you're bending out one or two of them um, to, try to try to create a vertical surface so that, so that stays up as vertical as possible. The other thing I like to make sure that you do is to stake this down. And so this, these are quarter 20 threads on the, on the bottom. This is a small um, eye bolt. And then uh, we just use some cord here that comes down to a small uh, line tightener that we cut on our laser system out of a Delrin material. And so essentially what you do here is when you get it, it's taut, you bring out a loop down by the knot between the last two holes down by a knot, the knot here. You're going to bring that loop out and then you're going to bring this down to a heavy object or a stake in the ground. So this could be the bag that the antenna comes in, put some rocks in it or something heavy. Or on softer ground, I like to put in a small tent stake. Uh, I've already done that here, so I'll bring that down, put that around the stake, and then all I'm going to do is pull this up the line, and that'll stay taut. And now if we get a good gust of wind, it's not going to go anywhere. That, that can take uh, a lot of wind there, so it's very, very stable. Today I want to talk about tuning. So what I've done here, we're going to set up on 20 meters. I've already placed my clip on turn number 13 as per the chart. Now this is when I'm using the standard two arms and the standard length whip. If I was using additional arms or a longer whip, uh, like our long telescopic whip, four feet longer, then I'd be moving the position uh, of, that, of that coil clip. So we're on turn number 13, and I'm just going to plug that in. You can find that position on the coil very easily uh, as we have hash marks on every fifth turn. So it's black, blue, black, blue. So you say 5, 10, 1, 2, 3, then you put that clip on. I like to put the clip on with the hook going upwards. That way, if it becomes loose at any point, it'll be shorting a turn below it. If it turns sideways, it would short a turn below it, and that's a turn that's already being shorted. Okay, so you just want to make sure that when you get there and you set up, that you snug this up. You don't need it tight, just, just finger tight. Okay, the radial. So I've set the elevated radial out um, prior, and I've gone out to the mark on the wire for the 20 meter band. So let me show you might be a little dark here in the shade, but I've come down to some marks that we've placed on the wire, and let's see, this is a blue mark here. So I've got down close to that, and I can go, well, let's go here and see what happens. Um, when there's not wind, if I'm just out with some bushes or something, a lot of times I'll just lay this on top of the bushes. Um, I did that earlier on this tree. I kind of pulled this through and, uh, and it did fine, uh, just holding in place above ground. I brought a little plastic carabiner and I got these on Amazon. I kind of like them because they're very lightweight. I bring three or four of them, attach them to my pack. So I put that around the branch and then I'll just take that carabiner and I'll latch it to the line winder, and then I just want to make sure this, this wire is at least two feet above ground. Looks like it's, uh, it's down to about two feet. I like to have it higher than that, and so I might move this tripod over just a tad and, uh, and get us up to about three feet there. Sometimes I go higher. I rarely go lower than that. So what I'd like to do now is just I've set this up as per the chart, turn number 13 for 20 meters, and the blue mark on the wire for 20 meters. 
these are approximate measurements. They're going to change. When you're in a different situation, if you're over very poor ground or if you're over salt water, it's, it's going to be a little different, but this is always going to get you very close. So today I'm running a uh, Rig Expert 2000. Uh, that's the Alpha Alpha 2000 Zoom. I normally carry their 230 Zoom, but we just happen to have this here today and uh, I'm going to take a look at where we are here. Okay, so that's 20 meters. Um, not sure if you're able to see that on the camera there. Yeah. But I've set the, uh, the width to, to 500 kilohertz. And let's run a sweep and just have a look at, boy, that was quick. That's quicker than my 230. <laughs> so that's actually very good. Um, so this is a, uh, looks like we're at, Okay, this is the first sweep we did here, and we're looking at uh, 1.08 SWR at 14.11. Um, so I like the SWR. Now, what I want to do, let's say I want to be up in the, in the top portion, in the general portion of the band, let's say at 14.300. Um, I need to shorten this antenna to move it up in frequency. So there's a couple ways to do that. The quick and dirty method is to come up and just shorten the whip. So I'll come up to the, uh, the second section here. I'll shorten it, uh, that's about an inch and a half. And uh, let's run that sweep again. So there we go. We kept a, uh, a low SWR. So that SWR didn't change, 1.08. And now we're at uh, 14,260. So um, you can see that we're below 1.5 uh, through to the end of the band, and back to back to about um, uh, 14,130 there. So that's the quick way to make adjustments. Typically, I don't like to do too much with the whip. I want that whip to stay as long as physically possible. I want the um, maximum length on that telescopic whip or on this vertical portion. That allows me to use fewer turns on the coil and that's gonna be more efficient and more bandwidth. So let's go back. I'm gonna raise that up to the full height on that telescopic whip. We'll sweep that again and we should be back down to where we were earlier, 1.03 at uh, 14, uh, let's see, 1409. Um, so again, I wanna be in the upper portion of the band. This time I'm gonna walk out to the end of the radial and I'm gonna shorten that radial and I'll probably do a half turn here and see uh, where that gets us. Okay, we'll come back. Let's do a full turn and see how far that is. Now, I'm a little bit short for that branch, so I'll take this carabiner back off of here, and I'll move us over to another branch. Keep that nice height right across. Okay, so I put one wind back onto that line winder, so I've shortened it by one full turn, and uh, looks like we got a little bit off there. Okay, oh, we're still up, that's good. So let's run another sweep that should have moved up in frequency. Now, when it did, you'll notice something here. So the resonance point now is, is uh, at 14,230, okay? Um, that, that's still good enough for that upper portion of the band. Everything's below the 1.5 to 1 line. But what you'll notice is the SWR at the resonance point, instead of being 1.09 to 1, is now 1.32 to 1. So the better way to do this was back at the original length on that radial, that, that blue marking for 20 meters, and then to shorten the whip. So we were better off shortening this side of the antenna. If you think of this like, a, like an L dipole, Right, so it's, it's very similar to an off-center fed dipole where you're shortening one side um, and um, that's the balance across the feed point that affects the impedance. So by shortening here, 
we had a better result overall, the, the lower SWR. I'm gonna go back and do that, real, uh, that, that process again. I'll take the radial back out to the blue mark. I'll shorten that by about two inches. So we just had this with the shortened radial and the full length telescopic whip. And the sweep was 1.32 at 14,230. Now I've taken the radial back out to the blue mark for 20 meters, and I've shortened the whip about an inch and a half. We're gonna run it again here. And showing the SWR at 1.01 1 .01 at 1409. Okay, so um, much lower SWR. However, it's still low in frequency, so I'm going to come up again and I'm going to shorten that. Oh, another inch. Let's try that sweep one more time. Boom, there we are. 14, 230, 1.1 to 1. So that resulted in a better SWR just by shortening that telescopic whip. So it's a combination of, of, of the radial wire, lengthening or shortening. Um, and the telescopic whip to get the best SWR on your intended operating frequency, at least the resonance point um, right where you want to start operating from. And then you have bandwidth obviously on each side. In this case, your two to one is, um, well, it's, it's wider than the, than the entire band here. So you've got, um, oh, a good um, 350 or 400 kilohertz um, of bandwidth. Uh, at two to one, and the 1.5 is, well, several hundred at least. So that's the quick and dirty of fine tuning the Buddy Stick Pro. Similar, same process really for the other bands, and maybe we'll cover those at another time. Thanks for watching. Have a look at the two cans up here in the tree, because those are pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That's fun. That is freaking cool, man. I've yeah. seen a toucan down here.